two, one, go. Hey guys, what's up? This is Chris Pike. My friends call me Big C. I'm with TGN TV, guys, and today we're doing TGN Live. Hell yeah, I'm looking in the camera, and today I got my good buddy, Hengus. Dude, you having a fit over there? What's up? You're seizing up. What's up, dude? <clears throat> oh, sorry. I was having my routine conniption fit. My apologies. Oh, Anyways, man. guys. <laughs> Here we go. Welcome to TGN, the second edition of TGN Live. And boy, am I excited for today. How about you, Curtis? Dude, I am so excited I have on my gangster hat. Check it out. <laughs> also. Is that so? I am a pimp now. I have a goblet like Snoop Dogg, which means I'm a mother boss. See it. Check it. <laughs> okay. There's the first beep of the day. And Anyways, folks, thank you for the overwhelming response in the last episode. It was absolutely awesome to see all that positive feedback, all those thumbs up, all the views. And thank you for all your uh, recommendations as to what we should be doing on the channel. That's exactly what we were looking for. So much appreciated. Hell yeah. I don't have much more to say, but thank you for all the awesome heads up and all the, all the feedback, guys. It's pretty sweet. There was a, a lot of really constructive feedback, a lot of good comments, and uh, as always, I'm going to jerk you guys off. Let's do it. <laughs> What's up? All right. So actually, from that uh, video, I, was, I learned that there's an extreme demand for hunter footage. So that's why I posted that hunter video right afterward. Yeah. And that's exactly the kind of uh, feedback we're looking for because we want to be able to put out the stuff that you guys want to see when you want to see it. So with that said, let's move on to our next subject, and that would be our latest director, Mr. Deadly Slob. Who recruited yes. this guy, Curtis? Ah, uh, you know what? Uh, he came through the TGN Idol uh, submission program, as far as I know. Um, we got a lot of submissions, and we're like, you know, we, we, we take the best, and we, you know, sometimes we promote them right in the channel if they're really good. So uh, he came through that uh, direct application, and uh, he's pretty good, yeah. Awesome. That just goes to show how effective that process is starting to work out because let me tell you my friends, Mr. Deadly Slob, very quality production skills, great speaker. Yeah. He's got a following already. Sensational. We're very happy to have him aboard. It's very exciting. Um, on that note though, with his introductory video, and we're going to be totally honest about this you guys, we want to be very open with uh, the developments here at the TGN and what we are considering doing and all these things of that nature. Um, he did recommend or ask for some feedback on uh, some a leveling videos, a leveling series that he yes. wants to do, and naturally that struck up some tensions in the in the network here because we all know that Noob School has been around for months, and we got the Dexter from Scratch series, and also the Buy Winning series that Curtis of, Curtis and I are going to start doing soon. So we honestly, yet again, we want to ask you very seriously for your feedback on this matter because we're struggling with it ourselves. We want to know. Yep. Is that a good idea for you guys? Is it, is it okay to have three leveling series coinciding with one another? Is it too much, uh, too much of the same content? Too much spam? Is it clogging up the channel? Let us know below because really we're on the edge of making a decision about it and we gotta figure it out soon. Yeah, that's exactly right. Uh, he, I mean, Deadly Slob's a very good director. He's he's not just a, a new guy that got a microphone and figured out how to use fraps. He's good. He's really good. He's got a following. Uh, and his videos, you know, they're, they're, they're educational. You, you learn stuff. He'll take on a class or maybe that, you know, we don't have much coverage on here. So there's a lot of good things about it, but at the same time, we got to balance, you know, do we do another leveling series of videos or should we maybe, you know, focus on boss ra rating or boss or PVP or I don't know. We get Tally naked on, on webcam or something <laughs> like that, right? Like maybe a real flying D-bag. I don't know. I don't have the answer, so it's up to you guys. Just give us, please just give us your comments because I promise you they will be looked at, they'll be reviewed, and will be talked about, and we'll take action on them. So there we go. Yeah. Nicely said. Thank you. Okay, guys. So our next topic, we want to address something that has been an ongoing issue in TGN. Most of you guys probably love it, but, you know, we got to consider ourselves as we're growing into more of a network. Uh, we want to show others, other game companies and such, that we're an actual company with values and and uh, yeah. we, we want to conduct ourselves professionally. So you may have started to notice that we're, perhaps maybe this may be the first video, I'm not really sure. <laughs> but we are going to start taking more of an approach, a professional approach, mostly with regards to the uh, appropriateness of our 
commentaries in any given video. So that's something that's been a concern for a while, and it's something we're going to look to address starting now. Uh, you know, if there are offensive words that turn up in our videos, we want to make sure that number one, we're make, we're actively trying within reason um, to to just cut down on that stuff. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. No, we love Tally the way he is, and I totally understand. We all do, but uh, we don't want to. We don't want to control Tally's personality in any way whatsoever, because yeah. it's great. Everybody, you know, he has a very large following, and people love the way he presents himself, and that's just fine. We just want to make sure, again, as a company, we are not offending anybody on a serious level, and that's important to us. Yeah, and that's why I think I want. It's important that I take this opportunity now and let you know, Hengus, that I think you're a. <laughs> oh, f yes, no. Professionalism <laughs> is important, guys. That is why I just waxed my taint. Okay. <laughs> now, um, another thing here in that last email, or in that last video, guys, you made some comments about me personally. One guy suggested that I go lose some weight. So I'm going to tell you right <laughs> now, I have moved into a cul-de-sac so I don't have to chase after that ice cream truck. I am going to gain <laughs> 80 pounds. Never mind. Um, oh, geez. Just kidding. And I've also joined a gang because uh, I'm awesome. Uh, no, but yeah, no, professionalism <laughs> is important. That's why I'll probably not be with TGN much longer because I'm the way I am. <laughs> but everybody else. Uh, but, but guys like Tally, to be totally honest, uh, Tally's got his own style. Uh, and I don't, I mean, he, I don't pick on Tally because I'm picking on me too. I'm, I'm a bit over the top myself. So we might just take the middle ground and beep out some of the really bad stuff because you know one you know pr game companies might not like it and two i don't want to have to go to jail with tally again because i don't know how much of an alpha male he is but uh <laughs> yeah let's just say i'm pretty sure yeah it would be one of those monkey chest beating thumping things so anyways <laughs> um yeah and what else can i tell you uh you know making videos like this for me is like when i lost my virginity because my whole family's watching. That's what you need to know, dude. That's what you need to know. And I'm sorry if I, uh, if I uh, offended you. So anyways, carry on. Let's go back to professionalism. <laughs> Hengus is very professional, by the way. Not me, not so much. <laughs> That's why we're such an interesting dynamic, right? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's, let's keep the flaming to a minimum on that regard. Put yourself in our shoes. As we grow, we want to become a respectable... Uh, conglomerate and that's that's all this is about it's not about changing anybody's personality or trying to start problems okay so our next subject is uh, kind of on the previous note we want to we want to start installing a newer higher standard of content um, not to point fingers or address anyone in particular but we at TGN are well aware that there have been videos in the past that are uh, perhaps in hindsight great because you know that's what people want to see at the given time yeah. but we really want to focus on really putting time into each and every one of our videos that goes up so that there's no such thing as a good part of TGN and a bad part of TGN we want the entire thing to be a respectable presentation yep. so we are working on new methods on uh, making sure that that happens which includes making improvements to TGN idle and of course helping each other as a team in our video development skills and making sure that it all comes together properly. Yeah. What about you, Curtis? Uh, that's a really important point. Um, like, for me, I started up with TGN when it began, so my low-quality bullshit um, is kind of going to be grandfathered into the channel. But uh, going forward, there are people that have real talent, and um, we want to make sure that the best videos uh, are posted on TGN. And, you know, we get away from, you know making a video because we know how to make a video like it has to be purposeful there has to be a reason for it um you know we've got lots of say paladin videos and we've got like four warriors so you know we're not going to post three straight warrior videos and then you know er like 90 minutes apart and then take three days or whatever like uh long-winded here but basically we're, we're gonna we're gonna have a higher standard and um in order to do that, a lot of things have to happen. Uh, one, we've got guys on the team like like Hengus, for example, and uh, the Terry and Bezbold, really strong technical uh, in the technical area, amongst other things. But you know, some people that were posting in the past, their videos had audio that was off, or 
something like that. You know what? We can handle that now internally and make sure that kind of stuff doesn't happen too much. Um, Content-wise, you know, every director's different. Every director's got their own take, but we're really going to move away from just posting videos because we want to post videos and making sure they're very uh, directed. And other than that, um, if you uh, fill a gym sock with hand cream, don't leave it in the microwave for your dad to find it. That's it. That's all I got. <laughs> That's hard to explain, okay. dude. That's very hard to explain. That's what I'm going to go with. It's professional. That's, right. That's one of those super intelligent jokes, right? <laughs> yeah, because I'm so smart, like dump truck. Um, <laughs> All right, guys. So more on that note, just to close it up. Um, as the team grows, our list of resources, our list of people we can go to for help, understanding things that we may not understand as individuals, continues to grow. And subsequently, the quality of the content will also continue to improve. So... Yes. We're done with that subject. Let's go ahead and move right into our TGN Idol reviews. We've selected yet another three awesome submissions to the channel. Yes. And Curtis and I would like to take some time to go over, give you some pointers, uh, and just express our gratitude for the interest in the program. So, hell yeah. Let's start off with Mr. Sleepy Pete. He posted uh, last month, I believe. Or actually, yep. I don't know when this went up. A couple weeks ago. But uh, it's, a, it's a Fury Warrior PvP 2v2 arena video it's about six and a half minutes long um and let me just start off by saying that the video content uh, the video quality in this video was fantastic it was about as good as it gets yes. uh apart from the fact that it was in 720p um which can cause some issues with those of us viewing full screen videos in a 1080p fashion okay um we've been talking about that internally of how that affects the quality of content uh, for the broad spectrum of viewers. Other than that, the sound quality was good. Um, one thing on your commentary, there's a thing going on where I felt as I was listening to you, it seemed as though you were talking to me personally as if I was in a chair sitting in front of you, like it was a friend-to-friend -friend conversation, like a one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and that's really, I wouldn't want to go for that personally. I would concentrate more on focusing as if you were talking to a crowd or an audience, you know, you're much more interesting if you're trying to appeal to a sum of people as opposed to just one person. So it seems like you need to practice perhaps public speaking skills, but that's not really a big deal. Some people do enjoy that really personalized style of speech. Yep. But that would be my advice. And lastly, uh, well, two more things. I have to say, man, your UI user interface is really, really cluttered. I could hardly even tell what was going on. And that's not meant to offend you. And I'm sure it helps your gameplay with the Gladius and all those cooldown counters and everything. But it's just really big and very cumbersome. As a viewer, it's very difficult to focus on the actual gameplay itself when I got all these time bars ticking down and numbers flashing everywhere. Uh, and especially, this is the big part, is a lot of people that watch TGN are actually beginners. We don't want to call them newbies because <laughs> yeah, that's kind Did of you say offensive to boobies. <laughs> I love Newbies. boobies. Go on. Oh well, yes, yeah, so we 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 do have newer players that uh, that watch our stuff, and those people have no idea what the heck those add-ons are all about. Number one, they probably don't even know how to install an add-on on in World of Warcraft, yeah. let alone what all those mean. So that's something you certainly need to consider when making a video for a large audience. One last thing, um, there, the entire video was one arena match. It was about a five-minute match where you basically ran the enemy healer shaman out of mana. And yes, that's a very technical breakdown of uh, how a typical match would go. Yep. But at the same time, it's certainly one of the less entertaining ones you could have shown. Just because it's not fun to watch a five minute fight where you're bashing on a healer for five minutes straight. Regardless of your skill level, it doesn't really matter. It's just there's not a whole lot of dynamic that goes into those sorts of videos. So I would recommend perhaps more action oriented ones in the future. And lastly, I know I said that like three times by now, but you did have a slip up at the end where you concluded the video twice. It looks like you forgot to edit out that audio track. So once again, just remember to review your videos before you upload them to YouTube and make sure that you didn't make any mistakes. What about you, Curtis? Ah, uh, I liked his name. It was good. I like Sleepy Pete. That that really, you know, sticks out to me as a good name. So <laughs> I, <laughs> other than that, um, I, I watched the video and, and I, I liked it. I'm not all that good at the game although I'm getting better so uh, I'm just gonna go with what you said and 
and uh, yeah, that's good. That's fine. I was I was pretty thorough on that one. Yeah, you were pretty. It's thorough. Kind of, it's kind of hard to add, follow up on that, isn't it, Curtis? Well, <laughs> no. Well, yeah. It's kind of like you covered everything. Um, I don't know. It. it, f- it let's move on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So, Unforgiver. Not really sure when this submission went up either. I should really start taking down the dates. Mm-hmm. But this one was a video featuring the Unholy Death Knight rotation and the spells, how to use them, what they're for, all of that. Basically, an overview of the class itself. Um, yet again, the video quality was very good. You had yours in 1080p, and I would have to say the bitrate was very high, even higher quality than the last one. Mm-hmm. Um, and here's a big statement for me. I haven't watched all of the audio on TGN, but your audio sample uh, is the best that I've seen on TGN Idol. It's just really high quality. You obviously have a great microphone, and you understand how all of that works. So your production skills in general are very solid. Um, it's also refreshing to see your user interface mm, kind of the opposite of the last video. It's not cluttered. In fact, you're using mostly Blizzard UI, which I'm probably pretty biased because that's how I approach things. But it's very friendly for beginners watching the videos, like I said. Um, although your commentary is based primarily on the premise that the audience already has a thorough understanding of the Unholy Death Knight class. And being someone who doesn't play a Death Knight, um, personally, I, I could keep up with you, but it seemed to me like you were going a little too fast uh, with your commentary, you know, using names of spells that most of the viewers probably don't even know or are familiar with, and articulating those names to part of the strategy. So you'll lose your audience pretty early on if you don't consider their knowledge of the topic. And so you always want to be sure that you're very thorough and, again, keep the beginners in mind. Uh, just be considerate of those learning the game. And, yeah. yeah, that's all I really have to say about it. Overall, very solid presentation. Yeah, I, I like that one a lot, too. Um, I don't know. Like, some of our videos are, you know, really advanced. Like, he's a high-level, obviously, super high-level uh, DK. So, I mean, do we want to... I'm not going to say dumb it down, but do we want to, you know, have like a, a high level version and then like maybe uh, for newer guys that are thinking about playing a DK or medium level players? Like, I, I, I honestly don't have a good answer for that. Um, but but I could understand why, you know, we have such high level stuff there and he uses the, the names and stuff that he does. So, yeah, the way I, I felt know. about it was if you've seen some of my class guides, I know I've put up an Arcane Mage one on TGN. Wow. Um, I go very in detail and make sure that everyone understands what the abilities are before I start yeah. using them in a combat context. Okay. I would just tell that you maybe take a page out of that book and spend some more time because it seems like a very in-depth review of the class condensed into about four minutes. And for me, it was just way too fast-paced. And I don't think a lot of people that are new to the class would really understand what you're talking about. So those are easy fixes. Yep. It's just uh, you, need to, you need to slow down a bit. Yeah, for our okay. first video, that was really, really good, though. Super good. Definitely. And yeah. One more. Okay, last one for Ice Rez. This was a Rift video. Uh, he's basically giving you an overview of the Shaman Cleric talent and, and some demonstration of the abilities. Once again, these three submissions, very good. Really good video quality. Um, however, the footage you were displaying was not very interesting to me. It, it was mostly just you uh, going over some interface, you know, text link. Uh, tooltips on abilities and such with your cursor and talking over it and that's okay for WoW to an extent because the game's been around for six years but with a game like Rift keep in mind that a lot of people don't even know what the heck this game looks like so you really need to take some time Uh, my recommendation when I was watching that was you would want to add some text overlays maybe some pop-ups to help explain to the audience what this ability does while you're going over it maybe even just an overlay of the name itself so that they can, you know, at least see how it's spelled or something. Yep. Uh, overall, man, your voice was kind of unclear. It was it was kind of difficult for me to understand. There was also some decibel issues going on there. The My quality seemed fine to me, but you would really benefit from really spending some time making sure that you're speaking clearly. The right tone of voice, is your, your tone was fine. In fact, it was very relaxed, laid back. A lot of people would tell you that might be boring, but personally, I, I relate to that and I like it. Um, I know nothing about yeah, that. <laughs> I'm on like three Red Bulls, dude. I don't know what you're talking about. But I didn't want to cut you off, but I have a couple comments too. But I'll wait till you're done. Sorry. 
I, well, I was almost oh, done. See, I he felt was done. I finished like a I, boss. I, <laughs> like a boss. <laughs> similar to, similar to Unforgiver's video, yeah. Ice Rise, I felt that you tried to do too much in one video because not only is it a new game, and I, my opinion probably pretty valuable in this in this area because I come from an MMO background, obviously, but I haven't played Rift, so I would personally need a more much more in depth uh, explanation of what a shaman cleric is and precisely what those abilities do. Whereas you were kind of just doing an on-screen demonstration with, this, uh, you know, maybe 10-second commentary on what those abilities are. So, once again, probably just want to go a little more in-depth. Yeah, I, That's all I, got. I actually play Rift a bit. I'm not very good at it, but I do play it. Um, and a couple comments. Uh, your game knowledge on it seemed really good. Um, I agree with all the things Henga said for the most part. Um, they were well explained. It was a little bit... Mm, it was a little bit, you know heavy on the uh it, it, it made a few too many assumptions in terms of what people would know but uh that's okay it's a new game it's all good uh the audio was a little bit too low for my liking uh because for me if, if you have a very calm and soothing voice like like hengus i find that you know you need to be a little bit louder um at least this sounds like american idol off oh, this you know what be a <laughs> boss finish like a man f it good video Cool translations, or no, not translations, transitions. I can read. The pop-up thing that Henga suggested, awesome. I like pop-up books, too. <laughs> and that's it. It was good. Okay, guys, if you haven't figured it out by now, TGN Idol is in no way, shape, or form related to American Idol. Okay? Let's oh, just yeah. lay, down that, <laughs> lay that down right now. <laughs> and I'm like the 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 yo dog, what's his name, because I'm black. Randy Jackson. Yeah, because I'm black. <laughs> All right, let's let's uh, let's not stray too far away from the subject. Is there anything else you would like to address, Curtis, before we finish up this episode? No, just uh, comments, guys. Uh, all your comments. We read them all. Uh, I know it doesn't sound like it sometimes, but we, we take them all in. And there's lots of emails and discussions going on uh, inside TGN that are based on what you guys tell us. So if you want to see more Mage videos or you want to see Let's Play videos or you want to see whatever, please leave us comments because we use that information to make decisions as to what, who we're going to go after, what new directors we're going to do, uh, go after, all that stuff. So, um, yeah, that, that's really my final comment. Absolutely, guys. I'll be 100% honest with you. On the last video we did of this, TJN Live, I went through every single comment, and I took notes, uh, tally marks even, of what you guys wanted to see, and I came up with the Hunter stuff. So that's just a perfect example of we really do take in your feedback, and comments are very important. So don't forget that. And with that said, that concludes this episode of yeah. TGN Live. This is our second edition, and stay tuned for more. We will have a guest feature in the upcoming episode. Hell yeah. And I hope you guys enjoy. Big C, check I'll see it you out. Bye-bye.